What is kerning and how do you apply it in the Creative Suite applications Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign? Kerning is adjusting the space between letters or characters in a font. So how do we adjust it? In Illustrator here on a Mac, go to Window, Type, Character. You saw the quick key was Command T. Uh, in this case, if you hover over this one here, you see that you can set the kerning. You do not want to select uh, the entire text uh, because, well, you could uh, select optical, which basically adjusts the kerning to the shapes of the letters and what they uh, are next to. Um, or you could leave it at auto metrics if you want to turn metrics off turn it to uh, simply click zero uh, the other option uh, or the reason you don't want to select everything is because kerning is really just adjusting one letter with the letter next to it so what we're going to do first of all is zoom in and if we wanted to say adjust the kerning between these two letters we'll take our type tool and you can click one at a time. You can choose some of the options we have here. Um, or you can press Alt and the left arrow key to decrease, or Alt and the right arrow key to increase. And this works on all the Adobe Creative Suite applications. Um, however, there is a, a slight difference. We'll do it quickly in Photoshop as well. So we'll zoom in using Scrubby Zoom. Uh, as you can see, I already have the character window open here, but just in case, it's window character. So there it goes away, window character. Uh, using the type tool, click between two letters, and you can either choose some of the options or type it in manually and press the tab key to to apply that. Uh, in InDesign, as you can see I have my character panel open. I'll close it really quickly. Go to Window, Type in Tables, Character, Command T is the quick key or the shortcut key. Uh, you can do the same thing here. Let me get my type tool And I just changed the. There we go. So, if for whatever reason I want to keep that, and I have a lot of text in my document, uh, let me zoom out. So, let's say I have a lot of text in my document and I don't know which one I've manually adjusted the kerning on. Go to InDesign Preferences, then go to Composition, and under Composition, where it says Highlight, highlight your custom tracking and kerning. Click OK, and there it is. It's highlighted for us. This way, we can quickly go back to areas that we've kerned. Um, now, if we wanted to adjust the tracking, again, this is very, very similar on all the programs or applications. Uh, simply hover over this one, the A, V, and then a, the arrow showing the space in between all the letters. And you can uh, use this, the options or set it back to zero if you wish. Hope this was helpful.